by looking closely at the area the sheep eaters roamed, we can surmise what foods they would have had readily available. It's probably common for us uh, these days to top out on the plateau and we're up above the trees. We look around and we say, whoa, what a bunch of nothing. But in fact, there is an enormous amount of useful as well as beautiful stuff up here. And so we've collected a couple of items. This is bistort, American bistort, in the buckwheat family. It uh, has an excellent root that can be prepared, baked, boiled. What I like to do is fry them. I've got a little butter. And I bet you the... Uh, a little marmot fat. I was just going to say, <laughs> I'll bet the Indians use marmot fat up here. They uh, learned a lot of plants from watching the grizzlies, and this may be one. Uh, when this is in bloom, the bears eat a lot of it, and people eat a lot of it. You also find these in the caches of pocket gophers, and, and the grizzlies would have made use of the, the caches by digging them up sometimes with the gopher along for a snack. In addition to the migration, the long migrations, say for buffalo hunting, there are also the seasonal There's migrations the seasonal up migrations. and down the mountains where right. essentially the Indians were following the out animals up. In, in the case of the sheep eaters, they would have been following mountain sheep. You keep finding spring happening over and over again at higher elevations all the time so that you keep getting into the kind of optimum collecting zones. One of the common plants near these late-lying snow beds is this big root spring beauty. This has a fat tap root that is um, starchy and the whole plant is actually edible. I think there's a useful distinction to be made maybe between the plants that would supply the ongoing diet, day-to-day -day diet, and the plants that they would need to accumulate for winter. That's when the, the root crops, the high starchy, large root crops really would have become so important, but you need big accumulations of those. In the fall, we have different plants than we had in the spring and summer sheep eaters would have used in this area. Uh, one in particular that's good after it freezes, and it is just frosted here in the last few days, is this um, wavy leaf thistle. In this case, we have a root that is only edible after it freezes, and it's the only root I've, I know of that mountain sheep actually eat. And had this frozen hard, where all of these leaves were yellow, this would be much softer than it is here. But it's still edible, about like a carrot, nice and crisp and crunchy, and very sweet. But more than likely, there would be women gathering this with a, a sharp stick. These here are the choke cherry branches that are used for digging turnips and digging other kind of roots. This is made very sharp, like an arrow. They uh, have their little square of buckskin, mm -hmm. something. They roll it up and put it on the top. 